Hey guys, Weapon Game back with another video today for our campaign weapon series, and today we're going to be covering the Scar H of the Mark 17 that was used in the single player mission into the furnace in the second portion of that by Kyle Garrett. So there's actually two parts of that mission. The second portion where you take over is Kyle Garrett with Captain Price, you're using a Mark 17 or a Scar H, standing for Special Operational Forces Combat Assault Rifle. So again, this is just the Scar H, it's firing the 7.62 millimeter round 762 by 51 millimeter so go ahead and you see the final version of the weapon here and let's go ahead and build this from scratch so if we back out and strip this down we're just going to start with the base scar h which i believe is unlocked at rank 49 i want to say if i remember so again fn scar 17 is what it's called in the single player <clears throat> or in the game itself and so what we'll first start out with this wasn't in the uh well so let me build it from scratch as far as Per what it was in single player so first off we're going to start with the optic and what we're going to want is that aim op reflex sight so this is in real life it's called an aim point sight this is just precision sight picture with the con being ads speed but you're not taking really any hit to the ads speed with this particular sight go ahead and put that on there now the base stock we're going to go ahead and accept that all the base other attachments perk will skip for right now and the grip for this grip this really you can't tell what the grip is in the campaign mission so i'm going to go ahead and put something on there that's going to benefit us the most with this weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the stipple grip tape. This is going to assist with the ADS speed as well as the sprint to fire speed with the con being aim and stability. Since this weapon does have a bit slow mobility rating as well as ADS speed, we're going to want to make up with that wherever we can. So we'll put that on. The ammunition, we're using the base 20 round box mag that's used in the single player campaign mission. And now for the underbarrel, I know a lot of you were asking which weapon this was and that you haven't seen the build like this. So this is the bipod foregrip, which is pretty unique for the Scar H. It is available on other rifles, obviously, in real life. But again, this is the bipod foregrip, so you kind of get a two-for-one deal here. The pros being the recoil control, as well as the crouch and prone recoil control. So obviously, when you're in crouch, you're going to have more accuracy with the weapon. And then when you're in prone, you're basically going to be a laser with the weapon. So go ahead and put that on there. The only cons here are going to be the movement speed as well as the ADS speed, which is kind of made up for elsewhere. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And then this really is the final product that you're using in that campaign mission into the furnace. That second portion as you take over is Kyle Garrett. So just some minor updates I made to this to help fill some of the slots is for the muzzle. I'm going to go ahead and put a compensator on. It doesn't change the weapon too much and we're using it pretty bare bones as is. So this is just going to assist us with the recoil control a little bit more with the cons being aim down sight speed as well as aiming stability. So this is more so personal preference. I ran it both ways with and without the compensator. Not too much of a difference, but this is something you could put on there if you do in fact need it. Another thing that you can put on there is for the perk i was just running frangible wounding to fill another slot since we don't really need all five slots you really need the three with this particular build that we're using um another thing i would recommend also if you want to swap out some attachments would be the tactical laser since again like i said this movement speed for the weapon overall is pretty slow the ads speed as well as the movement so the tech laser is going to assist with your ads speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness the only con being when you're ads and the laser will be visible and again that's that green five milliwatt laser so if you're just careful where and when you ads you should be fine with that and that's going to drastically improve your ads speed as well as overall movement it seems mobility with a weapon so that's just some some pointers there i would recommend again you can go with or without the compensator you can use whichever grip tape you want on this but this is the final design again for the fn scar this is a place of origin being belgium and the united states scar standing for special operations forces combat assault rifle and we went over this pretty heavily in some of our weapon conversion series so i'll link all those down below where we covered this weapon um also, we jump into the gameplay here. I am playing just against bots. We're going to test this out. I did play with it pretty heavily in multiplayer, but for some reason, uh, lately, I'm just getting into, I don't know if it's skill-based matchmaking or what, lately, I'm just getting into super sweaty lobbies. It seems like everybody's running uh, pink, like, donut camoed weapons with no stock and spinning around doing crazy, like, movement speed. It's, a, it's nuts. So I just wanted to play with it against bots to have a more uh accurate representation of how the weapon handles it does handle fine in multiplayer the really only downside i have with this particular build is the sight so the optics on this weapon for some reason mainly with the reticle i like the optic but the reticle on this you you might want to switch out your reticle or just switch out the optic on the scar i mainly prefer a holographic or even the four times flip because you have that holographic base and the four times option you just need a bigger for me i need a bigger sight picture and a more clear 
dot for where I need to be aiming my weapon. For some reason, the aim point at base has a very, you'll see it here in the gameplay, has a very uh, lightly colored red op reticle on it. So you might want to change that up or just swap out the optic. But to stay true with this series, we're trying to use it as close as possible as used in the campaign mission into the furnace by Kyle Garrett. So again, that's the site. The optic that was on there is that aim op based on the aim point in real life. So Overall, I think it's uh, a good weapon. I really like to see Realism Mosh Pit return, though, so we can play a little bit more tactically. I know the game was initially designed to have no minimap and very limited HUD for the most part, so Realism really gave you that vision of the initial vision of the game, and plus you had uh, one-shot headshots with all weapons, no matter what they were. So you had to play more tactically, no HUD. You only had the minimap when someone called in a UAV drone or something of those sorts. So you had to play more tactically and carefully and really rely on audio cues mainly. And you couldn't be running around uh, like crazy with, you know, pink weapons and no stock on the gun. So I am really hoping they bring that back at some point. I'm not having too much fun at all in core mode or even uh, boots on the ground, ground war or anything like that. It just seems to be a little bit too crazy for me. I'm looking for more of that tactical first-person shooter, which... Realism Mosh Pit gave me, and I really love that mode. So I really hope they do bring that back. Not having the best time in multiplayer, but again, we can jump into a uh, custom game here against bots and play out and test these weapons, which works just fine for the purposes of these particular videos. So just some background. Again, I'll link the SCAR videos down below, the Mark 17 videos for you. I know a lot of people were discussing, and I've brought this up on the channel before as well for some of our videos, that if we had a 5.56 by 45 millimeter conversion, we could make the Mark 17 or the FN Scar light. Um, so that would be really fun to see, or even a some better attachments for the squad automatic weapon variant of this. Uh, I think the 5.56 by 45 millimeter rounds, unfortunately, I don't think they'll be added. I know we've had some additional attachments, mainly being rounds, especially with the Uzi, so it opens up the possibility. But looking at the game uh, and how they're adding the weapons, it seems like since the Mark 17 was canceled uh, definitively now, that's no longer going to be produced by FN. It's not going to be adopted by the military as well. It was initially signed on to, um, they signed on to bring in some of those back when the SCAR project first started. The Mark 16, the 545, or excuse me, the 556 by 45 millimeter variant, the Mark 17 is now canceled. So we only have the the scar h variant of these weapons so it would be cool if they added a 556 but it depends on what how true they're trying to stay up with the times since it is a modern uh game but again they do have a very rustic old ak-47 at base so i wouldn't be i think it would be fine if they did add the 556 i'd like to see it i think it'd be pretty cool to see so other than that we do have some good uh, blueprints that we did cover for the scar mainly uh i'll link those down below some nice variants here that give us some mlock or key mod handguards attachments on these that make it look visually just a lot more aesthetic and even uh cosmetically a lot better so i like those a lot i think at base again the scar is a good weapon so let me know down below what you guys think of the scar i think it handles better in realism for some reason just because the headshots do more i do find often in the core modes here that it seems that i'm putting shots on target and just it's a little bit more difficult to control and you're not getting the punch that the 762 rounds have with like an ak-47 so I think it really may be just the optic I'm using because I haven't really had any issues with a scar in the past with the way I have it set up in the previous videos that you'll see. Um, so go ahead and give that a try. Let me know what you guys think of the Scar H. Again, this is the Mark 17. So we cover this in our conversion series where I go in depth into the weapon IRL, uh, the real stats, the story behind it, how it was, how it was created, etc. Um, and the future of the weapon. So go ahead and check that out if you want more information, learn some information about the Scar h and even the scarlet i think i give a lot of information in those videos that i'll link down below so go ahead and let me know what you guys think i'm just going to leave the gameplay running for you so you can see me playing this out again we are playing against bots right here but just trying to represent how this weapon handles again it handles fine on multiplayer but i wanted to get you guys like a good video that showed how the gun actually handles in situations where you're able to get shots on target and not playing against super sweaties so Hope you guys enjoy the gun build here. Give me your recommendations for any more weapon conversions that you guys have. I think a couple of you had a shot, had some shotgun builds and some other things that I have to get to still. I have some screen caps of these ones that I'll try and knock out some of these videos this weekend. Um, rumor is that Warzone's going to be launching on Tuesday with a possible reveal Monday or even early Tuesday morning. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. I really hope uh, 
Either that comes or a nice refresh, which it seems really possible since there's really been no store content very much at all so far this season. There's been a couple of different blueprint packs, but very lackluster. So it seems like they're kind of just stalling for something. Whether that's Warzone or not, we'll have to wait and see. But I think that would be exciting if they could add a nice t tactical competitor to something like a PUBG or something along the lines of like a Tarkov mix with a Battle Royale, I think would be very good. So we'll have to see what that mode turns out to be if and when it does come which it seems like it will at this point so again let me know what you guys think um be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you guys do like the videos go ahead and check out the weapon conversion series where we covered all kinds of builds uh for call of duty all these conversions that you can make in the game i think i've definitely was one of the first if not the first and covered more probably than any other anybody else on youtube by far i think we were the first one for the vks a lot of these guns so the gunsmith uh very great addition to call of duty gives us a lot of possibilities so i really love making these i'm looking forward to any additional attachments and weapons that they add in the future i know we do have the m26 mass shotgun coming at some point here in season two so i have to stay tuned for that so again go ahead and like and subscribe if you like the content social media links are down below if you guys want to get a hold of me on instagram or twitter we also have a discord there so you can jump in there and interact with the community uh play games gotcha so go ahead and jump in there post your weapon conversions things like that any ideas you guys have and want to see i do have some requests from a couple of you guys so i'm going to be getting to those here over the next couple of days i know some one of you requested am4 carbine build which i'm going to try and replicate the irl build for just an old school uh, M4 looking rifle that we'll try and get to and some other ones like that. So stay tuned for that. And I think I will be re-announcing a, a gift card winner. So we did the gift card giveaway a week a week or so ago. We gave it away. And I'm probably going to be re-announcing one of the winners since uh, one of our winners that, that did win, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he can accept anything. So we're going to have to go ahead and do a redraw. So again, stay tuned for that. I'll probably be announcing that this weekend as soon as I get confirmation from that winner. So... Go ahead and stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And until next time, Buffer Gaming, out. Command actual, ready for air support. Arriving at the AO, transferring fire control. You're clear to engage. The guy running. Good kill. Good kill. Now that was a fight. Solid work. We're out of time. We're RTB for resupply. Oh,